The plan shape of a surfboard is the overall outline of the board. The gun has a narrow plan shape with the widest point under the chest area. A narrow nose enables the board to do sharper turns in the pocket of the wave, which is ideal for high performance vertical surfing. The foil of the surfboard for me is basically the whole, the whole sort of um, layout of the board, the, you know, the thickness going through the nose, through the through to the tail and I would say that that's what we call the foil it. No, the, the whole thing is about um, having a balanced um, sort of plan shape on the board, a nice concave, uh, a little bit thin in the nose so when you go up to do your re-entries you, you're not carrying too much meat up in the board. Uh, uh, standard, the standard say for instance, standard short board um, will have a four ounce bottom, um, which is here's the four ounce. You see that the fibers are quite quite small. Uh, the four ounce bottom lap, and then on the deck, uh, generally for a standard board like you see in a shop, um, you'd have a six ounce inlay. You can see it's, it's a heavier a heavier weave than the four ounce. You'd have a six ounce inlay, and then another four over the top of that, wrapping around the rails. Um, a lighter weight board, um, yeah, just to maintain a bit of strength and because blanks are, are, are good these days and so forth. Um, for a lighter weight board, you'd have a, a four, just a single four ounce bottom and then a, a four ounce inlay on the deck and then a four ounce over the top. But to go ultra, ultra light for say your pro or it may, yeah, it may be even as light as having a single a single four ounce bottom and then just a single four ounce deck as well. But obviously the less glass you use the less strength you have.